This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of my most used productivity utility, Text Expander. Get more done faster. Find out more at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner in San Francisco at Macworld iWorld 2014. I'm in the Mac Fun booth talking to Ivan about some of the cool new stuff that Mac Fun has brought out. Ivan, it's great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Folks, I guess about two years ago now, and I can't believe it's been that much time we talked to Mac Fun, but they've upped their game with some new apps, new versions of your apps. Definitely. Yeah, so we're fortunate enough to uh, be showcasing, uh, well, actually developing six of the top ten f photo apps for the Mac App Store. And so what we've done this year is we've actually put, to put them together as plugins as well. So we have pro versions for a lot of our tools, and uh, people seem to like using our tools inside of their favorite editors like Photoshop or Lightroom, Aperture, and so on. So uh, we're showcasing that here at the show. Great. Um, I'm just going to let you roll it into it because it's, I think a picture speaks a thousand words. There you go. We'll show you how it works. Go for it. Okay, so uh, we're looking over here now, right? Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, what we have going on is our Snapple Pro. This was app of the year 2012. Here in 2014, now we're using it, uh, like I said, standalone or as a plug-in. I have my photo here. I like the landscape. What I don't like is this wire. Now you know in Photoshop it would take you quite a bit of time to go ahead and knock out that wire where we do it in a snap, right? So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and click erase and watch it just vanish over here. Now you see we don't have the hourglass like the windows guys, we don't do the rainbow wheel, what you do, we do get you a lot of Jeopardy knowledge along the way as we solve the problems of your photo. So we're going to go jump in here, I click erase, watch the problems go away. Now if you ever have a problem, like I'm pretty sure right here it's going to have a little ripple here, a little hiccup here. And so if there are any problems, I want to show you guys what the magic behind the snap peel isn't that we make things disappear, but that we do it automatically in nine different ways. So we have a lot of different variables here. So. Oh wait, it's perfect. I can't even show you how to fix it. It's already perfect. I love that. So yeah, that's the magic of our Snap Peel Pro. And like I said, what's great here is we're using it standalone, so you can use it all by itself, or you can use it inside uh, your favorite editor. So in addition to that, we're also showcasing our Intensify Pro. So let me go ahead and open that for you. Uh, Intensify Pro is another great one where what we're doing for you, we're uh, solving your problems when your photos are going to be uh, too dark or too bright or too boring. So one, one photo I like to use is this one right here, where we've all had that situation where uh, your sky is too bright, your foreground ends up being too dark. If I expose for the landscape, I blow out my sky. If I expose for the sky, the foreground's a silhouette. So we have a great tool here where we, what we can do is without adding or generating any noise, I can go ahead and increase the shadows here. Watch as I crank up the slider here. And I see what's happening here. I'm bringing, bringing light after the shot. So it's like using a, using a flash after your shot here, right? And I like where it's going, but I know I need more. So I'm actually going to click here, add an additional layer on the top right. And then if I do it again, watch what happens as we fix the exposure. Now it also has a lot of creative applications as well where I can go in and definitely you know, add a little pro contrast or play with the structure over here and watch what happens to those clouds as they just boost. So a lot of great applications here. Uh, like I said, utility wise, playing with exposure or creative wise, definitely getting that extra pop in your photos. All right, well, so that's the well, magic of Intensify. That, that's, that's absolutely gorgeous and that just saved the shot because otherwise it just is black with a sky. Definitely, yeah, it was black and it looks like we brought it right back. So incredible stuff. Could you do that again, that um, thing where you say fix it in a snap? All right, so we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. That yeah, was very so good. I appreciate that. Yeah. So uh, what kind of pricing do we have on these apps? You know, these apps, uh, well, they're actually, uh, the ones we're showcasing here are the pro versions, so they end up being uh, plugins as well. So they're not actually on the App Store, but we have them on our website at macfun.com. It ends up being 59 for the Intensify Pro and then 39 for the Snap Heal Pro, and then we have it available as our creative kit on an SD card as well. Uh, you're going to get that for just 79 so that's for the bundle price. Interesting choice of delivery methods. We've been all looking for something that, you know, that addresses the issue of we need a lot of storage or a lot of distribution space, and we don't have anything more in, in even DVD drives anymore. So you guys have gone with an SD card. Yeah, what we've done here is we realize that we market exclusively to photographers. So what we have going on here is uh, we do deliver the software to you on an SD card. So when you purchase it in a retail location or see us here at the fair, definitely we'll get you the SD card, install the software, and then we let you repurpose it. Just reformat it inside your camera, and then you're shooting on it within minutes. So, so the website where we send folks to get more information and maybe get their own. Yeah, you can uh, download a trial, buy the software. It's macfun.com. It's M-A-C-P-H-U-N.com. Ivan, thanks so much for the time. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Cheers. Man. 
I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at Macworld iWorld 2014 in San Francisco. Back with more right, soon. So Thanks for watching. Camera work by John Zakowski of Azimuth Productions Video San Francisco at videosanfrancisco.com. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, and Facebook. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date with all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.